a tournament at the Grand Hyatt Hotel and Residences here in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. And this is a Pearl Suite 3207. And this is actually my first time at this hotel. I mean, the week has now been open already like 18 months, a year and a half. Um, I guess that I haven't been back to Abu Dhabi for a while. But here we have some um, globalist amenities, so from fruits and cookies and nuts and some pralines, so they look look very, very tasty. Um, this is a proper suite, as you can see, there's a TV. Here we have the sitting area. And by the way, there is a balcony, you can actually walk outside. Let me show this suite first. So, so far, space here. Um, but what is actually a bit surprising, um, the mini bar here is actually empty. <laughs> there is a mini bar in here on the living room side and bedroom side, but there's nothing inside, which is really surprising because that's not really usually how the market here in the Middle East works. But at least they do have an espresso machine. And those capsules, actually not capsules, but these, what you call those, you just insert those in. I have come across at these couple of other hotels as well. Because um, usually they are capsules. Here we have a that's the guest toilet, and let's walk to the well. There's the bedroom, but here we have the bathroom, which is very spacious as it's usually gets nowadays. And in the middle of everything is the bathtub. That, by the way, I never use, but I know that many people love these. Uh, here we have a closet, and of course you can close the doors if you want. The in room safe. An iron board, an iron, and a hair dryer. This always, I'm always very curious. Why on earth do they put the hair dryer on a closet? Well, sometimes it's like in a really weird place anyway. But there's extra pillow, a couple of bathrobes, and they are my carry-ons. They have a toilet and a bidet, of course. Rather basic. I prefer the Japanese style. And here we have have the shower and they have these uh, Balmain Paris line of bathroom amenities I haven't come across at these at any other hotel so far so I don't know if these are specific to this Grand Hyatt or if this is something something new that you will start seeing at somewhere else as well um, so we have two sinks and of course you can actually you can, you can close these so you have a little bit more privacy if you're taking a path. So there's a mouthwash and shaving dental and all the other useful stuff. Let's go to the uh, let's go to the bedroom. There's a work desk here, of course, under the TV. And I like the um, the shape of this suite. It's really like a pearl or oval. The entire building. Here's the bed, and there's like another sofa place to sit, and an empty mini bar. I don't really understand. It's, you know, as you can see, there's a display and everything else, but there's only two water bottles. I need to ask what is going on over here. But I like these lamps, and there's another mirror there. Quick peek of me as well. Let me open this door, it's a little bit heavy, so I might I might eventually open that. So you have a balcony here, and you can see what development, so they actually, what development is coming up here in Abu Dhabi. So they're basically making a couple of artificial islands here again. This is the, and there's one over there, and looks like there's another one over here. This one building pretty much ready over here already. So they're kind of expanding the city. And I need to check what is this hotel. I could swear that it is the Intercontinental, but I kind of figure out the brand out. I should probably have a look at the Google Maps, or should have a look at the Google Maps before, before shooting this video. And I guess that uh, 32nd floor, I guess that must be. This must be the pool of the Grand Hyatt. That's the uh, pool of the other hotel next door. And there's the view of the uh, 
uh, Budapest skyline. And I'm actually going to do the Louvre Museum next. So again, this is the um, Grand Hyatt, Abu Dhabi, uh, hotel and, and residences here in the UAE. And this was the Pearl Suite 3207.